The multi-launcher rocket system is an odd duck of the main support artillery vehicles like the ATGM tank destroyer and howitzer tank. It has the most ammo of both vehicles, it can dump its payload extremely quickly, and it's described as having the most damage output of any vehicle out any vehicle by the developers themselves. So why does it look so down upon? It's possibly one of the most exposed vehicles in the game outside of the truck and kit and cod half-track bike. Its rocket rack is an easy target for infantry, its projectiles are extremely hard to aim, as half the time you only see where land. So looking over it, it's not hard to see why this vehicle isn't very well liked. So that's why I'm here, to help you guys utilize this vehicle to its fullest extent possible. The truck itself has two seats, the driver and gunner, and it's fast-ish in terms of speed. The rocket truck has a few limitations that must be addressed first. The turret on the back has a minimum range of 700 meters and a max of 1,500-ish meters. This forces it to be a backline vehicle, unlike uh, the other artillery vehicles which can comfortably push and still be able to defend themselves. If a scout car gets near you, there's almost nothing you can do to stop it from shutting you to pieces. The turret itself has a turret limited turn radius as well which is about 180 degrees in front of the vehicle. This typically isn't an issue as long as you're facing your target, you'll be able to hit them. One aspect that's specific to the rocket truck is that, it, is that you can see where its rocket, rockets land. There will be an X double show up on your map. This can, help you, this can help you zero in on a specific target like a capture point. Without this, this vehicle would be nearly unusable as, as an indirect launcher with the help of a spotter telling you where your shots are hitting. Before spawning the rocket truck, you should consider a few things beforehand. One, is your team capturing points? Your main objective is to defend the points, and if there's no points on your side to capture that are captured, you're basically pointless. So get in your tank and capture some points. If you don't know how to use a tank, watch my last video. If you don't have a proper team, or you're playing on a very urban heavy map like Roinberg, you're going to have a lot of trouble moving around and loading up. Having a single squad member loading up your rockets can increase your effectiveness to tenfold. It's very helpful to have teammates that are having your back. Trust me, you'll need teammates. The part I messed up on in my last video was positioning. I will make a general video on how to attack and defend in the future, but for now let's stick with the rocket truck. The most important part of operating a rocket truck is positioning. You need to be sure you're not exposed. Remember, your arc, your rockets will arc, so you can take cover behind massive hills and still hit your target. You also but you need to at least account for trees as they can block your shots. My favorite spot is on reactor, is a little on reactor is a little road that looks over B. It has a lot of protection and is close enough to your spawn that you won't get rushed by small vehicles. But it doesn't compare to Eagle Side, which can you can pretty much hit B from spawn, which is pretty insane. I won't be going over all the spots on every map as that would take a really long time. What I recommend is just going around the maps and trying to find spots on your own. I feel like that's the best way to find spots, is just find a spot that's specific for you, and that works for you the best. One thing I see new players try to do is try to get two players beside one rocket truck at once. I don't recommend this. Instead, you should get a rocket truck and the other person should get a supply truck. If you also have an extra teammate, you can get them to help, they can help you ping some targets in the distance that are stationary on the map as well. As a loader, you will be following around the rocket truck with a supply truck. Loading the rocket truck can be a little finicky, the best way to do it is to tap on the boxes on the side and then click on the rocket icon when it pops up. You only need to click it once and you'll load 10 rockets. Also, never stand or jump on the rocket truck while loading. It will cause it to shake and will annoy your gunner a lot. As a gunner, your job is to shoot the bad guys from long range. Before leaving, be sure to set up a, be sure to set up a squad to prevent randoms from taking your truck as you use it. Squads also has an interesting feature that will be important later. Once you find a spot, you need to first zero in your, your rockets. Open up your map. Opening up your map will give you a more detailed visual of where your rockets will land. You will first fire your rockets and adjust where they land. Once you're zeroed, you fire in a circular, a circular motion using your mouse until you hit the intruder attempting to capture your point. It's also important to be sure you, you can actually hit your targets. Some maps like Roinberg and Reactor have some points that are surrounded by buildings, making them really hard to hit. 
it's best to stick with points that are open and harder to defend for your team. As a spotter, it's your job to mark stationary targets on the map. Firstly, you need to be in a squad to, to ping. In order to ping, you need to press down on the middle scroll wheel over the target you're wanting to ping. This will mark the target from a distance showing up on your gunner's map. If you want, you can link up with the tank crew and have artillery support at your disposal, which would be very useful. The rocket truck is a mad vehicle currently, and it's only really good on one map. I think a good buff is just to remove the limited range for the axes on the map. And people might say, oh, that allows the rocket truck to hit every point for spawn. Firstly, that's a map problem, and that shouldn't be a limitation of the rocket truck because of poor map design. I think it would make the rocket truck more effective on every map, besides just border clash. If you want, you can also disable the axes while you're in spawn, which would, it would be, I would, I would accept that as a, per, as a down, as a, as a nerf. For this upside. Other than that, the vehicle's sort of fine. I wouldn't. I think that would be the only change I would ever really want for it. Really. I'd like to thank the people from the Federation of Astaria again for helping me make the short at the at the beginning of the video. This vehicle fills a small niche of objective defending. It's difficult to use, prone to dying, but it's fun to use once you once you're able to oper understand how it operates. It's an interesting vehicle that fulfills its niche well once you get some friends to help load for you, and I hope this video gives you a new perspective of this little garbage truck, and I hope you've given it a shot. If you have any suggestions or corrections in the video, comment them down below. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.